I'm here at Eurosatori 2018 speaking with Hussein Directi, Deputy General Director of Chukova Makina of Turkey. We're standing beside a machine that looks very much like the well-known JCB Hemi. Um, could you tell us a little bit about this machine, the development history of it, and, and, and some of the technical aspects? I will do. And uh, first of all, thank you very much for your visit, our stand. Thank you, your organization as well. We are Chukorova Makina. Uh, we are in the picture more than uh, 35 years in construction machinery and within more than three years also military as well. Uh, but that one not exactly the same as the GCB because it is the much, much different even engine installation, even suspension because we have a very uh, special suspension system, hydropneumatic suspension and also engine, Cummins engine, 250 horsepower, six-speed ZF full automatic transmission and also special axles that one required by our Ministry of Defense of Turkey and uh, that one not based on one of the backloader platform. This is a brand new development project and we did within two years with our team 80 km per hour with single steering up to 30 km per hour double steering system and protection level, this is fully uh, protected, protection level, stanak level 2, and, uh, and also even uh, windows also BR7 category protected. That one unaccepted area, you know, do some uh, bumping, uh, we are calling that unaccepted area. If you want to do some operation over there, you can go very fast, you can turn back very fast. We have also some IP rights on this vehicle uh, because whenever push one of the bottom, they can get within some minutes very quick and you can leave from the then an operation uh, area. And this is very fast platform, very fast vehicle, giving the big flexibility for the operators. Even though you can use single operator or double operator, whatever. If you need, you can put turret as well. This is an option. If you need, you can put a remote control system up to two kilometer. And if you need, you can put special equipments on, on front of the loader and also excavating system. For example, if you damage any a main bottom tanks engine anywhere do you do you need to change you can use this one with electrician or with technician you can put inside you can go there very quick and you can change over there it means that one supporting vehicle or supporting machinery for uh, unaccepted area or operation area thank you uh, the vehicle itself, the front loader, is clearly a purpose-designed piece of equipment. The backhoe, for example, though, is that a standard commercial backhoe that you've fitted to the machine? Not exactly. It's not suitable for commercial usage. That one absolutely designed and developed for military purposes. And you can understand easily the front side and rear side much, much stronger than commercial usage. And the vehicle itself, does the, does the Turkish army have an actual requirement for a vehicle of this type that you are answering with it? Uh, hoping, hoping that time we negotiate our Minister of Defence before, before start the, this project and also we concentrate to sell, to create the market for us around the world. Uh, of course, our Minister of Defense requires such a vehicles because normally they are nowadays they are using standard backloader and they are putting our mode, but due to due to uh, performance of the vehicles not accepted, so that we they need very powerful uh, vehicle and that one gives this uh, requirement for them. Thank you for that. Um, the company are also showing a, a chassis cowl uh, here at Euro Satori. C could you tell us a little bit about that? So we decided to make a 
MPP, MP Multipurpose Chassis Platform. That one, 285 horsepower Cummins engine and also fully automatic LSN transmission. And we are working with Excel Techs. Depends customer requirements. Also, we can use different alternative components on this chassis. That chassis platform, we are calling that multipurpose. Multipurpose, you know, of course, uh, whatever you can use that one ambulance application or APC application or uh, 4x4 special hunting application or firefighting. The, the example that you have here at the show, what is the gross vehicle weight rating of that one? Yeah, that one is starting from uh, 14 to 16 ton gross vehicle weight, but depends the customer requirement. Again, we can increase, we can decrease, but we have to change the, some of the components on the chassis. But based chassis, independent, some of the customer asking rigid axles as well, we can do also. Uh, by the way, you know, the, according to our previous experience, we we, we would like to work also bus chassis as well, rear engine, air suspension, very maybe in future in electrical. It it comes that group uh, in our factory uh, as a special purposes system suppliers as well. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed.